Well, hello, Pisces. Welcome to your first half of July of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For the Pisces reading, I've been guided to the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck by Stacy DeMarco. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the first half of July of 2023. Oh, Pisces. So you're starting off the month in this energy of fear. Hmm. Fear because with the number 11, there could be a brand new path that is coming into your awareness. A path whereby uh, you've been working on something for a period of time and now you are leveling up. That could put you or is going to put you into the energy of self-reflection. Wow, I worked so hard to get here and now a spiritual doorway is opening up for me. I practiced and obtained all the knowledge I uh, could to receive this wisdom with the full moon energy here. Uh, it could very well be around the uh, July 3rd full, month, full moon where something comes to mind uh, that is really good here, but that makes you a bit fearful. Look at in the relationship sector, we have my favorite number 44. So there's this beautiful, solid foundation in the area of money, home, family, and uh, in the area of uh, spirituality and emotional fulfillment. So there's this attraction. You are attracting another or others towards you. New doorways are opening and are causing you to reflect on how far you have come. Uh, there will be this process of researching what's on offer here. Um, but Spirit is saying, do not fear, uh, but instead discern. Okay, so what you have created in the creative aspects position, Spirit is assisting you with. Uh, so as you attract these opportunities in the first half of July of 2023 Pisces, you will have the strength to discern who and or what you want to move forward with. So I do feel like there will be uh, many options coming to mind here in many different areas. Let's see if we can pinpoint for sure when it comes to your foundation, stability and security. Which is great because we have the darkness card in the actions position. Number 40 is indeed about the manifestation of your foundation. And the number zero is spirit assisting you with a direction whereby uh, there will be a more solid foundation. Things are going to improve. Uh, so basically in the actions position, the darkness card is just about uh, watching what's unfolding um, without being able to see exactly uh, where you're going to end up. But look at what's in the emotional aspects position. We have pleasure and the number 18. So in the thoughts, we have one plus seven, a new path, new doorways, which is eight. And then we have the number 18, a new path of knowledge and wisdom that brings great emotional pleasure, but a little bit of fear. Okay, you're the boss of your path, Pisces. You can decipher and discern who or what you want to choose because you may be attracting uh, maybe two different offers opportunities for yourself. And I felt this card before I even chose the deck. When I thought about the deck, this is the card that came to mind. So subconsciously, what's coming to mind for you in the first half of July of 2023, Pisces, is the realization that you have attracted some form of abundance. Uh, this abundant wisdom, this knowledge, number 38, is a blessed awareness here. Uh, you are attracting this abundance because you've worked hard to get here. So just discern uh, which direction brings you the most pleasure. And sit in the darkness and wait because Spirit is working really hard on your behalf uh, to bring you into this abundance. So day to day, it's about continuing to apply free will right? I know what I'm working towards. I know that spirit is blessing me. One plus three and 13 is four to discern who or what I want to move forward with so that I can uh, create with spirit uh, a, a pleasurable and abundant foundation. So day to day, uh, continue to d remember 
that you have free will, right? That will dissipate the fear, right? As you discern a situation and you decide uh, who or what you want to move forward with, uh, the fear is going to dissipate. So look at what's showing up in the inner strengths position. Wisdom, right? Knowledge is power. Wisdom is coming as a result of your free will. There is a wisdom of abundance and spirits giving you the strength to connect with another or others with the number 22 here. So we have 22 and 44. Connecting with two different people offers opportunities, directions. I feel both uh, could be equally stable and secure, uh, but it's up to you to decipher which one you're going to prioritize maybe first. Uh, trust that the wisdom will continue to pour in here and that spirit's giving you the strength to, again, sit in the darkness without fear as the wisdom pours in. Okay, so focus, focus, focus. Keep on keeping on doing what you've been working on or towards. Number 14, spirit's guiding you uh, towards a brand new foundation. In a three-card summary, we have focus, self-love, and gratitude okay uh, focus on how far you've come uh, should you run into certain obstacles and challenges you're going to come to a realization that you have come a long way you have grown and evolved uh, to the point where you can sit in this darkness and wait for the wisdom and not resist uh, what you have attracted your way yes release those fears and know that you are protected especially during this whole process, these things that are taking place in the first half of July of 2023, um, Pisces. See, we have new beginnings in the number two. So wait, follow your intuition, watch for the signs, and maintain those personal boundaries. Yes, it is a time of change. So Spirit's saying we're helping you to overcome any obstacles or fears so that you can succeed, uh, so that you can find harmony and uh, self-love, you know, you start to question yourself, uh, but this is about self-discovery and self-love. I created this for myself because I love myself. So remain balanced as you decipher who or what you hunger for here. Surrender to the acceptance that is coming your way. In some cases, we have a very nourishing and supportive masculine, whether it's prof professional or personal. Uh, sit in the void of a brand new beginning with the number one and trust that spirit is giving you or you're going to grow and feel more powerful as the wisdom pours in. The realization of a successful journey. Look at realization that you are starting fresh, walking in purity and integrity. As you assess a situation, you're going to recognize in hindsight how far you worked, how long you worked to get this far. Okay, so very resilient energy, sitting in this sovereignty, creating your empire, uh, 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 connecting with people who uh, support you, like-minded people, uh, have faith in what you're creating, and trust in the unexpected. Okay, Spirit saying uh, when, uh, what Spirit's trying to help bring to fruition this new doorway that is blessed, this new path, uh, remember to give thanks to spirit for the connections, for these directions. Because <clears throat> eventually uh, there is going to be a call to action, right? Then comes this realization that you have blossomed and that it is indeed time to climb this ladder and step into and through the direction of a new path. Uh, there will be peace. See, spirit wants to bring you peace in these moments of extremes. So extreme things are taking place and spirits helping you to remain focused, to reflect on the wisdom and the knowledge and the free will and all these things you put into your journey. Okay, so I am going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Let me know what it is that comes to mind here, that your free will has created in the form of pleasure and abundance. And congratulations ahead of time. Yeah. 
choose freedom okay so they're talking to those of you pisces who have been feeling like for some reason it, you've been blocked when it comes to moving forward in your life uh, but spirit saying this is an illusion uh, if you fear what comes your way you will actually darken your aura and repel these blessings from coming in and that's why spirit saying day to day continue to apply free will as you discern uh, these opportunities of abundance that you will be if you haven't already attracting okay um yeah you could free yourself from any obstacles at this time by choosing a new path by choosing a path you are attracting maybe more than one path but the main thing is, Pisces, is to turn your thoughts away from any negativity and focus on the possibilities that are developing for you. This whole process uh, is uh, helping you to recognize, again, how far you've come and what you have worked for, and now the wisdom and the pleasure that is coming to mind. Uh, it is helping you to let go of the past uh, and to step into energy of great liberation. For endings always herald new beginnings. And in this case, new beginnings will herald an ending. Uh, let the past fall away. Uh, change your thoughts by changing or change your life by changing your thoughts. I am not fearful of the free will that I have applied to my journey. Seven of Abundance. So we do have a magical doorway opening up here. And Spirit saying as it opens up, have patience. Some dreams grow slowly, but do not worry. The hard work that you have invested is about to bring a beautiful harvest. Now, this is a great time to prepare, just like the rest of the collective, because soon things are going to move forward rather quickly. So the things that you've worked towards uh, are going to bring amazing accomplishments, relationships, and happiness. If you've been longing for something more in your life, get ready. For this is a great time of success for you. A time where maybe also you'll be attracting people from the past because they're seeing, they're acknowledging uh, this abundance and pleasure in your life. So Spirit's giving you the strength to take that wisdom, apply free will, discern uh, what you want to do next, and move forward from all that was. You worked hard to get to this point, and this is a gift from the universe. This abundant, uh, pleasurable new journey is a result of your efforts. Just like we've been talking about in this number seven year of 2023, this is the year where your efforts indeed will lead to triumph, and for some Pisces, uh, you may recognize this triumph and abundance showing up here. Um, if not by the 11th, for some it could take, there's a 10th, the 11th, maybe the 17th and or the 18th of July. Okay, so should these messages resonate for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or you would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the summer special, which is a one-month, 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so, so very much for those likes, those shares, and your subscribes. Uh, for those of you who come to me for month-to-month -month readings, and to those of you who've been gifting these readings to others. But most of all, thank you so very, very much uh, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.